Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of twin pregnancy of about 21 weeks with one fetus normal and the other with hydrops fetalis. You can see both the heads and one fetus is the head of one fetus is eco normal and the other has a massive soft tissue edema on the fetal head also on the fetal abdomen as you will see later in this video hydrops fetalis is a condition in the fetus characterized by accumulation of fluid or edema in at least two fetal compartments by comparison hydrops Allantois or hydrops amnion is an accumulation of excessive fluid in the allantoic or amniotic space respectively. You can see the normal fetus. There is no fetal ascites or fluid in the normal fetus. Well, the other fetus, you can see the, this is the normal fetus, normal abdomen and the normal limbs placenta are also visible in fact two placenta lying side by side upside down now this is the fetal soft tissue edema on the fetal head and fetal ab abdominal surface fetal skin hydrops fetalis is severe swelling that is edema in an unborn or a newborn baby it is life-threatening problem hydrops develops when too much fluid leaves the body's baby's blood stream and goes into the tissues treatment of hydrops depends on the cause about 50 percent of unborn babies have hydrops with hydrops do not survive now you can see the fetal skin a soft tissue edema is seen on the fetal head as well as on the fetal skin of the fetal abdomen Hydrops due to chromosomal abnormalities is usually detected during early pregnancy, whereas cardiac causes are detected in the second or third trimester. Hence, a detailed prenatal workup should be done in suspected cases. So, the hydrops fetalis, also called fetal hydrops, is a serious fetal condition defined as abnormal accumulation of fluid in two or more fetal compartments including ascites, pleural effusion, pericardial effusion and skin edema. All these four findings are seen in this case in one fetus while the other fetus is eco normal. In some patients it may also be associated with polyhydromnias and placental edema. Now you can see both the placenta lying upside down. Now this is the fetal soft tissue edema, fetal pleural effusion, fetal ascites and pericardial effusion is also visible. Non-immune hydrops fetalis occurs when a disease of or medical condition disturbs the body's ability to manage fluid. There are three main causes for this type, hearts or lung problems, severe anemia, thalassemia, Genetic defects including Turner's syndrome, the exact cause depends on which forms a baby has. Non-immune hydrops fetalis is uncommon but serious disorder associated with an overall poor prognosis characterized by abnormal fluid accumulation in two or more fetal serous compartments together with generalized soft tissue edema. 
A drops usually will rapidly become fatal for the baby if left untreated. An infant or fetus with a drops is severely compromised. The earlier in the pregnancy the, the diagnosis is made, the worse the prognosis is. Some babies with eye drops may even die before they are born. Sonographic features can be similar for both immune and non-immune eye drops and include increased amniotic fluid volumes, increased natural translucency, translucency especially first trimester, larger placental size. As you can see in this case, the placenta is quite large. In fact, there are two placenta lying upside down. Down, the enlarged placenta is called placentomegaly. Increased placental thickness, placental edema. Stress-related changes in the pregnant pregnant woman's heart rate and blood pressure, along with chronic anxiety, can affect the heart rate of the develop, developing fetus. A new, born, a new study concludes. Usually, the earliest a baby can survive is about 22 weeks gestation. The age of, uh, age of viability is 24 weeks. At 22 weeks, there is 0 to 10 percent chance of survival. At 24 weeks, the survival rate is 40 to 70 percent. If your baby has a birth, birth defect, increase, increase this. It increases the likelihood that they will develop eye drops, fetalis, liver diseases. If the child has liver problems, it often shows up a jaundice, that is yellowing of skin and eyes, swelling in the abdomen, fever and abdomen, abdomen and pain. Now the causes of eye drops fetalis include hemolytic disease of the newborn, severe anemia, infection present at birth, heart or lung defects, chromosomal abnormalities and birth defects, liver disease. The prognosis for babies with eye drops fetalis depend on the underlying cause of the condition. You can see the placenta is quite large. The outlook for the drops pellet depends on the underlying condition, but even with treatment, the survival rate for the babies is low. Only about 20% of the babies diagnosed with the drops pellet before birth will survive to delivery, and those babies only half will survive after delivery. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.